All right, let's continue Yakuza 5. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. We're going to probably do chicken races for a bit today. <laughs> I want to see how far that goes. Okay. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. What were they anyway? <laughs> I would assume it's the Gaia. Around. Surely it's highlighted. We're kind of coming up to the end of uh, this chapter, so. But I really don't remember where, uh... Oh, hello, there's a sub-story here. You? Oh, Shinada-san, I'm glad to see you. Oh, yeah? From the magazine staff, fancy you meeting you here. What's up? There's a big emergency going down. Everyone from the office is scouring the streets. It's our chance to score a massive scoop. A uh, scoop, you say? Yeah, the pop idol Michiru Yamazaki is here in Kineicho. He's supposed to be meeting a girl on the side, if you catch my drift. We're all busting our butts to find him. Oh. The tabloid on thing. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking like this doesn't mean a thing to you? Help us, Shinada-san. If you can catch him with that girl on camera, we'll throw you a decent chunk of change. Oh, really? You do know Michiro Yamazaki, don't you? He's a pop icon from Tokyo who's known for his clean and pure relationship with his beautiful fiance. Turns out he's a total scumbag. According to my sources, he'll sleep with anything that moves. Doesn't matter whether his targets are married or dating or what, he's a real ass. Even other celebrities have had their girls stolen away, but they're afraid to go after him because of his powerhouse agency, so nobody's spoken out. Yeah, and here's the kicker. There are rumors he's been responsible for more than a few abortions. Some of the girls involved even went as far as slashing their wrists. Whoa. So he's basically chaotic evil, then. Well, despite all the rumors, he's slippery when it comes to evading the press. We can never get enough evidence to put him in his place. Anyway, we caught wind that Yamazaki's in town. Being that he's away from his home turf, he's bound to be less wary. We were told he came without his usual posse, so he can meet this mystery girl in private. This is our one in a million chance. Okay, I get the picture. But I don't have a clue what this Yamazaki guy looks like. I thought you might say that. I have a photo of him right here. Here, memorize this face. Oh, uh, very inconspicuous. As you can see, he has quite a distinctive appearance, so he shouldn't be hard to spot. Ah, looks like he's got a chicken roosting on his head. Shinada-san, listen carefully. There's no point in taking pictures of Yamazaki on his own. If you spot him, tail him discreetly until he's alone with the other girl. If you can get shots of them going into a hotel or something, it'll be a huge win for us. Where could he possibly be, though? Genecho's a lot of ground to cover. If we knew that, we wouldn't be pumping all our resources into finding him. Right now, we're assigning each reporter a certain area in order to blanket the town. Janata san can you cover Kamano Boulevard for us? That's the one area we're spread then. Kamano Boulevard, roger that. We're counting on you, Janata san Make it happen. Okay, but I'm gonna go do chicken races first. Sorry. would have to be the thing up ahead. Mm. 
No? Wait, what is this? Oh. Ah, leave me alone! Damn it. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna find out where they are. I'm like typing it. Sorry. I'm just trying to find the exact location where this is so we're not messing around. Trying to find the location. <laughs> More chicken stuff, hopefully. I'm trying to find out where it was. It's not marked on the map. <laughs> Hold on. I don't remember where it was located. Hey, Star. How's it going? Long time no see. Hang on. I want to find... Oh, these maps are terrible. Okay, apparently it's in an alleyway. Hold on. Let me get my bearings here. Am I looking at the right map? This doesn't look right. Oh no, but this is... Okay. Disregard, this is a different city. It was in, like, a dragon Ishin? Damn, I missed that. No wonder I never found it. It was like in the spot that I never went down. Okay. Good lord. Kina Icha. Okay, hang on. I think I got a map. First shot, Cafe Alps. Play spot. Shinada's dig. What? It doesn't come up. This is so confusing. <laughs> it doesn't come up on any of these maps. Ah, oh, right. You know how to ride a broom, just gotta buy one now? Ah, that's how they get you. Free lesson before you know it, mortgage. Paying that thing off for life. Yeah, well, I gotta find where this place is. I might have to look at yesterday's VOD and see where exactly I was. That's probably easier. Hold on. Ugh. I've had nothing but headaches with VODs this month. The recordings are now, like, fine and fixed. <laughs> but I, when I moved, I didn't move certain files from the old drive. And so, I've, like, forgotten to upload a couple, which has messed up my numbering. I know. Okay, so let me see. This was yesterday. Okay, there's the chicken part. Where was I? I 
I'm surprised it doesn't highlight it on the map. That's weird. Or it's in Japanese and I don't understand it. Okay. Um... That's what we name it, but show me where it is on the map. Sorry, I know this is annoying. <laughs> Did I really spend that long racing chickens? Jeez. Okay, so we chased the bird. It's in a car park. Hold on. Oh, but then he takes me somewhere. Where is he taking me to? He says over yonder. Wow, this is annoying. This will be worth it. Okay, okay, hang on. I think I got the location. Okay, got it. It is on the edge of the map next to the guy that's a guide. Alright, I know where it is now. It's not marked. That is so dumb. Okay, so it is over here. Somewhere over there. You would think... You would think that such a major event would get marked on the map. I don't know. Alright, I know where it is now. Um, I should probably stop at a store and buy stuff. I guess let's just see. Okay, so it was somewhere here. There it is. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. I'm gonna give it leg power. Salt. I feel like I could learn a move with salt. I never did go to the bar to find the guy with the foot. No, I'll give him the expired bento set. Okay, um, train. We're gonna give him legs. I don't really have much to trade here. Oh, see, that's a weapon. Should probably use that. Okay. Well, let's try. Um... Go the Dawn Cup. I don't know which one I won last time. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so dumb. We're a tripper now. Go, go, go! Yeah! You got this, you got this, you got this. Easy win.
We might be able to sweep this cup. Okay. I'm gonna try the, the wind cup. This is good because in the background I can fix my stupid videos. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But I'm so happy that at least it seems like the recordings, they're not being messed up anymore. That was driving me crazy. Oh, it's a tighter race this time. Do it! <laughs> this is a lesson to never skip leg day. I've just trained legs. Fearless. Okay. I bet I have to just win every cup and then it'll progress me. Um, I'll, I think the one that I won was Drake, so I just need to win Novice and Chicken and then I think we're good. What are you doing? <laughs> Jeez. That was close. I thought for a sec I was gonna lose. I'm not controlling the chicken, like it just abruptly stopped for some reason. We'll check out breeding later. Uh, okay, and then chicken cup, I guess, is the last one. I think. We'll see. I mean, at this point, it's like, uh, I don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to. I'm saving the stamina. Okay, now. Go, 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 go. That was easy. Have we been upgraded now? Still no? Apparently still newcomer. Why? Alright, Drake Cup. With the Drake Cup, that's every single one won. I wonder what you have to do to get upgraded.
I thought I won the Drake Cup, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, damn. Come on. Uh-oh, this is bad. I might not win this one. Oh. You can do it. Yeah, okay, we win. Nice. The scrambler burnt itself out. Bad luck. Okay, can we enter the next cup now? Yeah, so we got challenger class now. Okay, there it is. Uh Would it be cocky of me to enter this right away? Kamikaze cup. Alright, let's see. Last foot. Monte Cristo. Pluck Norris. Last chance. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I, okay. Well, uh... It would, it would appear that I need to train. Oh my god. Dude, why are they so fast? Everyone's so much faster than me. Okay, we're not, we're not gonna enter these races now. I have to train in, in speed. Yeah, chicken steroids. Rigged. Oof. Okay, training montage is gonna happen. Um... So I need to buy random stuff. I need to buy stuff to donate. I don't know if this has takeaway. Wow, oh, that's one of these Tetsuya things. Okay. Beer. Mug of wine. Shochu. Ooh, shochu's good. Ah, uh, I think I know what I'm going with. Okay, I I had dim sims for dinner. I wasn't that hungry, so I steamed like three of them. So I don't think I should get hungry. I need a general store. Why do they have to make these towns so crowded? <laughs> uh. Oh, this is 
what I think it is. Okay, you know what? I haven't done it with this character. I want to see what his regret is. Now that I actually have money. Oh! It doesn't have Bakamite. What? Psst. Did they not like... Okay, well I guess we're doing these two. Machine Gun Kiss. Right. Oh, yep. Good. 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 I don't know why I play this. I, I like embarrass myself every time I do the song for the first time. Yep. Good. Okay. Yep. No. <laughs> no, this is embarrassing. This is actually the worst. I don't think I've done this bad since the first time I did this in Yakuza 0. I have Rhythm Heaven on the DS, and I've been so fucking hesitant to play it. Because <laughs> I know. Okay, no, I, I've, I've definitely... I just panic. It's If I miss something, it's just this snowball effect. Or maybe I'm just... Maybe... I'm just playing the character, you know? Shinada's just clumsy and... Not much of a singer. I did great. No, I didn't. <laughs> but thanks. Watch the number. Wait, did I? It felt like I did. Wait, I thought I got more than seven bad notes. What? I don't believe I only got seven bad notes. Okay, well. Oh, but I guess bad doesn't count as miss. No, 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 no. There's bad and then there's miss. It doesn't show you how many you missed. I feel like I missed way more than seven. Alright, for shits and giggles. So does Like a Dragon not have uh, this in it? Not that you've seen yet. Oh, really? There's usually a karaoke place in Kamarocha and a massage place. That's usually where the funny shit is. But I haven't played Like a Dragon yet. I'll get to it eventually. It's just one more game and then, yeah, we're up to it. Face. Did he just say pretty face? <laughs> you haven't found the side quest stuff yet? Ah, uh, yeah. Because at the start, it doesn't really give you much. Um, usually... You have to do, like, a little bit of a story intro, and then once you get settled in town, then you free roam, and there's just a lot of side quests. Every game has, like, roughly an hour or two where it warms up. 
just gets you the story, introduces you to the players of the story. And then once you finally get to that first part of the main quest, then you can kind of branch off and do whatever you want. Everybody say hello to out loud! La 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 lose you over love! <laughs> it did look interesting, the turn based thing. They varied the combat because I, I guess after like seven games of it being in this style, they just wanted to keep it fresh. I do like the explanation of it though, that the guy's just a massive nerd and imagines every time he fights it's like a turn-based game. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The one that comes out next month should be interesting because it features him and it features Kiryu, so it looks like they're gonna have both styles of gameplay. I need to find a, just a convenience store to buy shit. I need to pay my trainers. I would like to check it out, but given that it's probably continuing the story, I should wait. Please tell me this is somewhere I can buy stuff. No, this is a bar. Does this place, does this town not have a general store? Banya? M store, that's all we need to go to. Okay, just up the street. I'm just not familiar with this town at all. If this was Kamurocha, I would not be looking at the map. <laughs> I would know where I am. gonna talk to them to get rid of the dude chasing me. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Accept gift? What the hell? Provisions, 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 provisions eight? What is this? Oh, what? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I know why. I know what this is. So cool, I just got a free gun and stuff. Um, I know what this is. It's because I've played the other games, so when you play the other games, it picks up the fact that the save file is there and it gives you items. Okay. So I need to buy stuff to donate. So what I'll do, I'll just buy some food. I will pay for my chicken's training with ramen. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to go to an Asian grocery and get some of these. <laughs> the other night when I was playing this, I saw one. The, uh, the black one, because they're usually spicy. I love those. The, oh man, that soup is, is just killer. It's so damn hot, but it's so good. It's so good that they sell the, uh, 
the chili mix, the spicy sauce or whatever the heck you add to it separately in a bottle now. I used to live off that shit when I was in university. It's so cheap. Just buy a box of them and they just last you so much. Not the most healthiest thing, but... Yeah, I guess back then I had a different metabolism. I could eat whatever the fuck I wanted. So hang on. A fancy name for a tranquilizer gun, apparently infinite durability. Salt. I didn't realize I had the pipe. Sorry, excuse me. We have chickens to train. Um, stamina, balance, traction and night vision, what the hell is that? Let's just do balance training. I will give you one ton soup. Night vision? Is, is this for real? Like, will I need night vision as a stat? I wonder what the red text means. Oh, I think red just means max, so what, I've maxed it out? So hang on, breeding, forget skills. I can make a coach and forget an unwanted skill, no, seriously. Breeding. When you breed, that chick can inherit only up to four skills from the parent, don't forget. Select a breeder. Yuzu Mio. Go Mio. Breeders will be retired. Oh, we're retiring Cluck Norris now. Jeez, look at that stamina. What the fuck? This is full on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cluck Norris, Generation 2. Now, as a prodigy of a promising future, try to raise this with full potential. Excuse me, did he just give me... <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you... Did, did, did he just kill Cluck Norris and turn him into a chicken skewer? I think that's just what happened. 
Like, oh, uh, by the way, um, th this isn't... Just forget about this. Don't worry about it. Uh, here's a chicken skewer for no reason whatsoever. Forget about the fact that your chicken's now gone. Oh, but it's only 56. Now we have worse stats than before. But I guess it has more potential. The basic sundries is like, it's great, because I can just pay with ramen. So dumb. Okay, I gotta go buy more ramen. topic i tried some of the uh the boss ice coffee that shit's pretty good i see it all the time in these games and i saw that they started selling them here in supermarkets now They're pretty decent okay ramen 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 The good news is it's just easy to get back and forth. Okay. What happened to Je the first one? You missed it? Okay, so here's the deal. I trained it, and then it maxed out its stats, so I was like, okay, let's try breeding. So I tried breeding it with a hen, and the hen had ridiculous stats. So, you know, Cluck Norris breeded with a hen, and then the dude's like, congratulations, here's, here's a chick. It's Cluck Norris Gen 2. And then he hands me a chicken skewer. I wonder what happened. Does doesn't say it, but the implication is uh we retired our chicken and it was turned into delicious food. But this one has more training potential, so... This dude likes basic stuff, so I am just... ...paying my chicken's training with ramen. Oh, really? I thought I charged this yesterday. Hang on. Cable. Alright, it's fine now, I think.
Yeah, that's, that's charging. I didn't name it Gen 2, it just automatically did that. See, the thing is, I am invested in this, it's just, it takes a while. Okay, I gotta go back. This is probably the best way to do it, just keep buying ramen. I might go... Uh, no, it's the 30th tomorrow. I might go to an Asian grocery and get some of these. The last time I played, I just wanted some instant ramen. Particularly... There's like one that comes in a black... cup bowl thing. That one's the spicy ones. It's damn good. I suppose I could go... If, if I go into the city, it's kind of expensive, but if I go for a drive and go out to the suburbs, I can probably get it by the box full pretty cheap, like I used to when I was in university. I will totally go out there just to get the ramen. I might just finish this set of, set of uh, races, because this is going to take a while. Yeah, now it's got better stats than before. This kind of makes me want to play, um, uh, what was it called? There was a game on the PS1. Monster Rancher. Where, like, you'd put in a PlayStation disc and then it would give you a monster to raise and battle. And it had breeding systems and that sort of thing. And eventually, like, <laughs> the, at least the ones that I tried to raise, they always ended up dying. The training or something stupid, but it was a fun game. Oh, you could use DVDs in the music disc? Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah, that was good shit. They also had an anime that was kind of cool, too. I wonder how that would work now. I haven't had a computer with a CD drive in over a decade. That was such a fun game, man. Just, like, taking any CD, putting it in, and just seeing what would come up. It was a pretty cool concept. I'll max out its stats and then we'll see. Alright, another round of ramen and then we'll enter a race. Oh. Hold on. 
I'm trying to look this up in the background while I'm playing. It looks like they remade Monster Rancher. So wait, how does it work then, without discs? There's a remaster. How does it work? Hold on. This was a couple years ago. I'm trying to find that information on how it actually works. It's on the Switch, but it's also on PC. I'll have to look into this. What? Oh, here it is. One of the most unique features of the original game, which allowed players to acquire monsters by importing CDs, has been replaced with a new music database that can be used to generate monsters by searching CD titles. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I guess it's the best I could do. Yeah, it's not as it's not as fun. But I guess you could search up like a music CD that you were into back then. I don't know what else I could have done. Unless they integrated it with like Spotify or something. It's just one of those things that, yeah, that's you won't be able to replicate it really one to one. That's why I, I like physical games. It's just I don't know. There's something about getting a game, seeing the artwork, and popping in the media into the console. It's just part of the experience for me. It also helps that it's cheaper in Australia, which is just that's another stupid conversation. <laughs> I always have to explain myself when I talk about buying games physically. But for retro games, I try to get them physically where possible. I'll at least get to the point where we, we breed again. <laughs> oh dear. I love how this dude was so adamant on like, hey, don't eat the chicken. And that's what we ultimately do. Okay. 
that's I feel like that's good enough. All right, let's go. We'll just go with the basic one. Pigeon. Black Norris. Second win. Lone Star. Great. <laughs> so we, we just lose this race, huh? Okay, I'll leave the stamina. Oh! Go! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, we win. That was... okay. I mean, that's start. I'm surprised I won. Challenger. Oh yeah, right, because the title's reset. Alright, Rising Cup. The hell? What was Windows doing? Oh, there we go. It's alright, ignore those sounds. That's not your computer. That's another thing I heard about Windows 11 is just sometimes it notifies you about stuff despite you saying, hey, don't notify me. Oh, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why is it stopping? What happened? What? What is going on? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm not controlling the chain. What? Ah. What the fuck was that? Okay. Fuck me then. What am I doing? Am I doing something wrong? It got stuck. I've raced other chickens that did that before. Yeah, I guess. It's just RNG. <laughs> At the end of the day. Sometimes the chicken will call it a day. It's a, it's a wild animal. Nuggets. Nugget five. Chicken stew. Don't ever do it, don't ever do it, don't ever do it. Let's go! <laughs> Fuck! What are you doing? Don't... 
Okay. Hey! That was better, but <laughs> not really. But I've tra I've trained it. Don't tell me I have to breed it even further to even win this cup. Uh, all right, one more try. And maybe it's oh wait a minute. You know you you say you say rebellious. You say it's rebellious, but its personality is erratic. No, you might be right. <laughs> I think it's just rebellious. Okay, um, I might have to do more breeding. This is, this is just a dumb mini game, but I'm, I'm so invested in it. Yep, already stopped. Yep, good. Good! Yep, great. Fantastic. Love the part where it just stops every two seconds. <laughs> Alright, great. Looks like we're having chicken for dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner? I don't think so. Stand still, chicken dinner. Wow, this is... this is pathetic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so check this out. Alright, Apple, Mina, or Diva? Who are we breeding with? The first chicken was a superstar. What would you name a chicken Apple? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go with. Let's go with Apple. Personality Ernest. That's. Speed up. Oh, see, look at this. Speed up based on adjacent rival. Speed rises in the second half. That's a cool skill. Yeah, so you know, um, this happens, right? <laughs> and then you get some- Oh yeah, by the way, have some yakitori. Unrelated. The skewer of grilled chicken has a savory smell that is absolutely irresistible. Completely unrelated. Okay, well, I'm gonna get more ramen. Oh man.
Yeah, that chicken was horrible. Hopefully it tastes better than what it raced. Oh god, he was calling more people. Damn it, he got it. I just want to cha train my chicken. Is that too much to ask? Maybe that's paid up. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. I've lost. Oh, all right. There we go. It's wild to me that they, like, even go to the length of, uh, protesting video games that involve eating chicken. Like, this would be on their list of games not to play. It's like, dude, it's just a game. <laughs> There's a real, really funny moment, um, back in the day of reality TV shows, when Big Brother first aired, because they wanted to give it more attention, they got, uh, who was it? I think it was Pamela Anderson, I'm pretty certain it was her, but they got her to guest star on it, and then she did this thing where she was protesting, she wanted to do a protest against KFC, saying that, you know, they were treating chickens inhumanely with their farms blah 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 like she made a massive speech about it and then the producer of the show because i think kfc was even a sponsor that that's why he had to elaborate the guy goes just to be clear um everything pamela's talking about refers to america kfc australia doesn't actually own farms here everything you're saying is like irrelevant to australian kfc and she was just like oh <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the end of the conversation. Ah. Uh. At least she owned up to it and stopped. Yeah. I mean, at that point, it was just. I think she realized. Oh, I, I should probably shut up. The only other time I saw a protest on their part is, like, they just decided to block 
Melbourne's um, biggest train station. It's effectively the way the train network works in here is there's a central train station in the middle of the city, and then every single train line kind of goes through it, if that makes sense. Which it's pretty pretty bad, but like ignoring that, they just blocked the entry of the train station at peak hour, so they were just being annoying. It's just like, dude, no one's gonna be sympathetic if you're like just preventing people from getting home. They just had these TVs and they were just showing like footage of slaughterhouse stuff. Yeah, that day I got home like two hours after I was supposed to, so... It's the only reason I remember it. Most people don't do that and they just find another way to twist things, yeah. I've certainly met people that way. I mean, I'm not gonna throw like a like a a big blanket <laughs> to cover everything, but <sighs> Melbourne's annoying with hipsters. It is like we're pretty known for our hipsters. And, uh, just every time I've come across someone that's vegan, with the exception of a couple, I do have a couple of friends that are vegan that are, that are pretty cool. They're not, you know, criticizing you because you're not living the way they li live. They don't have a holier-than-thou attitude, but they're cool. We get along. But the, the ones that I've come across that are just so argumentative, man... And I have a, I have a silver bullet that has never failed when it comes to those people. Is like, you know, they give you... Some, somehow it always comes up and they always bring it up themselves. The whole conversation about just, you know, the fact that they're vegan. But after they do the whole thing, my silver bullet is that I always ask them what they feed their cat. And I have yet to meet a vegan that doesn't own a cat. <laughs> but... The point is, you, you have to feed a cat meat, like, you can't make it, you can't give it a vegan diet, like, that's just torture to the poor animal. So it's like, okay, they're willing to cave on their morals for a pet, and at the end of the day, like, these corporations that run these meat processing f facilities, they don't give a fuck that you're, like, bending over for the cat. At the end of the day, you're giving them their money, so it's like, you choose a grey area, and I'm not going to criticise you for it. So stop, like, trying to make me feel like shit just because I choose to eat meat. Again, it's like, you can be vegan and do all that stuff, and if you have morals that you want to stick to, power to you, but, like, don't try to make other people feel like crap just because they're not on the same wavelength. It's like, just let people live, you know? You can certainly talk to them about why you believe in what you believe, but don't try to make them feel inferior just because they don't agree with you. Or, I guess, don't follow the same way of life. What the hell? That was interesting. The sad reality of it is like there's some really good tasting vegan stuff like... Been to a couple of vegan restaurants and they're pretty damn decent. It's just the pretense of just... I don't know. They're always just gonna come out with that conversation eventually. I had this... Oh, what was it? It was like this jackfruit thing. 
but it was really damn good. It's like tacos, but it had jackfruit in it. It's pretty damn legit. Well, the good news is it's, I guess its stats are higher as a base level. Oh yeah, what was its personality? I guess let's see. If its personality is not erratic, then we should try race it. I don't see what its personality was. Ro oh, ooh, is it rogue? It's a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better or less? Uh oh. But I, I guess it, it just means it's a wild card, because going rogue. It could mean that it wins as a result of going rogue, or it could mean that it goes off the rails. I don't remember what stats I was on. I'll just do one more lap. I honestly don't remember how much of each stat it had before I... I, uh... I created chicken skewer. It's okay. The first vegetarian person I met, would you believe, was uh, in my, at my first job at a fast food place that um, was basically chicken. So they worked in a fast food place that it was about uh, cooking chicken. It was pretty funny. She was cool. Yeah, it's like you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I think the only way I, the only way it came up originally, after like about a year of work, was just at the Christmas party they catered and um, someone offered her like a chicken sandwich and she was like, "Nah, I'm vegetarian." And I was like, "What? Really?" So that was cool. It's like. You would not know unless you asked. One of the first few jobs you're working at a coffee place and you dislike coffee, especially the smell of it. Yeah. I can I can understand that. That kind of stuff is funny but not uncommon. You've seen vets who are allergic to cats and stuff, and it's like what? Why? <laughs> yeah. My brother's technically has allergies to cats, he has hay fever, but he has a cat with his partner. He deals with it. The funny thing is, this chicken place did not put me off eating chicken. Like, I, I'd come home, I'd smell like chicken. 
Dude, my shoes from that place, I had to replace my shoes, I think, like, three times, because just the grease. But often, I would come home from, like, a really long shift, where I've been doing nothing but cooking chicken, and I'd go home and I'd have it for dinner, because fuck yeah, chicken, <laughs> it's good. It, it didn't put me off. But coffee, I can imagine, because it has, like, a pretty strong smell. Plus, I imagine just that stuff. People can be dicks when it comes to just getting coffee. People are pretty particular when it comes to that. Wasn't the best job, yeah. Usually those jobs, the reason you stick around is... Generally the people, it's like, it might be a shitty job, but sometimes you meet people that at least you have fun with when you're on the shift. That was certainly the case with the chicken place, it was like... The worst paying fast food. I think Burger King was the worst paying fast food, and they were like second worst. But... I think we did more than Burger King staff, honestly. It was 16 or 17, so it was one of three we had. They only work like 10 hours a week. Okay. I was like 15 when I started there at the chicken place. I just kind of walked in one day. I was looking for a job. And it was so dodgy. The guy was like, yeah, come back tomorrow. And then he gave me... um just a form to fill in and then gave me my uniform and that was it. It wasn't even an interview. Which, admittedly, yeah, I mean... The place didn't pay well, but it was my first job, so whatever. And then eventually... Um, I tried to get into retail and eventually got into Kmart, where I worked in the gaming and music section. And that was a good- that was a good gig. For what it was, pretty chill. And so I worked those two jobs while studying, which, yeah, that was, uh, that was an experience. Getting jobs was easy. Yeah, I know. My younger two brothers, when they became teenagers, they struggled to find part-time work. It was weird. Um, but here, so you can start work at 14 and 9 months, I believe. It depends on your state. Some is 15. In school, they have this program, which I don't think they should have because it's basically child labor, but it's called work experience. Um, you do it in grade 10, year 10, whatever you want to call it. So that's how old would you be? Like, people would be 15 on average at the time. So you find a place, they sponsor you, and you go work there for a week, like, to experience... A full working week, right? Like, full-time work. So it's, it, I mean, it's nice in that sense that it prepares you for the real world in that regard. But the shitty part is, like, they pay you... Maybe it's changed now, but, like, when I did it, they paid... It wasn't an hourly rate, it was, like, a day. A daily rate. And it was just below minimum wage. I forgot what it was, but it it, it, it sucked. <laughs> so, I don't know. If they're going to do that, they should pay them just as if you had a job there. Like, just pay what they would pay a 15-year-old. But instead, it was... You work eight hours and you get paid for one. Something like that. It was in the name of getting work experience. The age is 14, you had no idea. Sad thing is you gotta start working at that age to be able to afford to live. Yeah. I know. It's not just that, it's just... To get ahead in life in general, like, it's no longer a case where... You kinda can have it all. In your 20s. 
it's now, well, you have to pick. You either continue your education or you start a family. You can't do both. And in order to do that, you kind of have to start earlier. And it's kind of fucked. That's why it's... You know, some of my younger relatives, I told them about this, not to stress out if they haven't figured shit out in their 20s, because now it's a case of... Dude, people are in their 30s now and still struggling. It's just... Relax. Just imagine that you are now five years younger. Five to seven years younger. Like, that's how much more time you got now. Like, really, 30s is like the new 20s now, in terms of life progression. Kids should stay home as long as they can now. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know, but it's okay. We're the, we're the entitled ones. It's like if if we would stop spending on um, avocado toast, we might be able to afford a box in the city. I mean, the simple thought experiment is just this: is like if you work a hard day's work, right? Like, let's say you work for a full. 8 to 10 hour shift. You should make enough money to be able to afford a day's rent, the food that you would eat that day, and maybe a little bit money to spend for yourself. But that's not the case for most people. And that's just fucked. Like, there's something wrong when you work a full day and it doesn't cover you for that day. I mean, I'm pretty lucky, like, you know, I, I am fine, <laughs> but I, I recognize just, like, yeah, how messed up it is. I think I got everything training. I'll do one more. Like the fact that I'm allowed to play video games right now. That certainly wasn't the case growing up. Be lucky to see like a new game that we would buy. Brand new, like maybe once every two, three years. Rentals was pretty much the only way we've experienced new stuff or secondhand stuff. We only got new games on rare occasions, rent all the time, same. And always was a console or two behind. Like I had the Super Nintendo, and most people had Nintendo 64 and PS1, and. The computer we own, though, you know, I'm really grateful for that computer because it got me into, I guess, the stuff. Like, I, I don't think I would be doing what I do for work if it wasn't for that computer. Um, but it was a bad computer. <laughs> like, could not run anything. I would get assignments, they'd give us a Word document, and I'd be like, nah, I can't. Why not? Because my computer can't open Microsoft Word. It just doesn't work. What? What do you mean your computer can't run Word? Okay, I'll give you a PDF. Can't. Why? Because my computer can't run... <laughs> it doesn't open PDFs. That computer, you'd turn it on, and I'd go make, like, a hot chocolate, because it would take, like, a good two minutes to start up. Yours wasn't that bad. You can play Unreal and Quake on it. Oh, I envy you. Nah. Mine, you could not do that. And, of course, I live in Australia, so, you know, internet was horrible for the longest amount of time. And even when... Finally got online, when you would play games... Every Aussie knows about this, but, like... 
playing games, we didn't really have dedicated servers. It was so rare to find dedicated servers for Australia, so we'd always play on US West. So we would play with like 120 ping and just deal with it, because that's all you could do. So Australians have like really good lag compensation skills, at least people that uh, were around in that era. It was like, well, yeah, it was either that or nothing. And then the download limits we would have are some of my American friends. They would be shocked. <laughs> Just. I'd tell them, oh, sorry, I can't play. I can't download the new patch. And then be like, why? It's like, I went over my download limit. Download limit? Like, yeah, we have download limits in Australia. Oh, what's your download limit? And I'd tell them and they'd just be shocked. Because it'd be something stupid. Like, back then, I think it was 10 gig. Imagine 10 gig split between four people using the internet constantly. Not the case anymore. Like, we've, we've changed in that regard. Thankfully. They'll, they'll have to pry this internet connection I have off my cold, dead hands. I'm not going back to something lower speed. Alright, let's see. This was like half an hour of training. Was it worth it? Things are looking good. <laughs> oh wait, no wait, no it's not. I just realized that chicken's the white one now, whoops. Never mind, we've already lost. Okay, but you know what, it's second place, it's, it's better. Hell's go Who's this last chicken? Jeez. Okay, I think we can win. <laughs> I feel like I should just leave this. This is gonna take forever just to get up to up to the uh the next cup. Okay, so we've got to watch the white chicken. Okay, oh, please, come on, we can do it. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. There we go. Okay. Good. This is barely covering the entry fee. Okay. Next cup. All 
Oh, that's training. My bad. Autopiloted. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> that chicken doesn't mess around. No, what are you doing? No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I thought we were over this. It's gone rogue. If it wouldn't have, if it wouldn't have stopped, would have won. I hope the mic is doing its job with the uh, the limiter. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> I'm good. All right, good. No, oh, come on, we have to win. This is still better than the previous chicken. The previous chicken just sucked. It just kept stopping. This one, at least, it's won a race. Green Marie Paragon. Get him! Get him! <laughs> I think we got this. Please don't stop. I will have a conniption if you stop. Good. GG. Going to training. So what was that? That was was that rising or silver? I think it was silver. So now we're up to crystal. What? Oh, this is where the night vision comes into play. Okay, I was wondering what that meant. Now I get it. Bon voyage. Pigeon, the chicken. The destroyer. What, is it just gonna get stuck in the box? What? Ah! <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna start and stop, isn't it? Alright, let's see. The tunnel, the tunnel is the wild card. Uh-oh. Oh, this is interesting. Wait. What did- I just read that one of the chickens threatened my chicken. Oh, 
I think I can win this. It just needs to not do what it did at the start there, and then it's generally fine. I think it has like a 50-50 chance to win. This is an okay chicken. That's a good start. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep going, keep going. Oh, that's beautiful. Good job. All right, cool. It seems like it wins one, loses one, wins one, loses one, so... As long as it wins. That just leaves. This one, the toughest. Oh, wow, double. Okay. This is what separates the chicks from the chickens. Chick out of hell. <laughs> this is all gonna come down to this tunnel. Crap. It's okay, there's a second tunnel. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Do it. Go. Awesome. <laughs> Could totally turn. Could totally turn this into a drinking game. You put your bet on a chicken, and then if your chicken loses, you drink. Um, so I haven't qualified yet. Contend the class, here we go. Let's just see. Let's just see. We're probably gonna get our asses kicked, but let's just see. I don't know. <laughs> Ivan the Terrible. Oh, yep, okay. Again, severely underclassed here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, as fun as this is, I feel like doing a whole two hours of this is probably not the most entertaining thing. It, it is pretty repetitive.
It's alright, I did the first two cups. It's now, okay, now it's a new mountain to climb. That's fine. I think we're good. <laughs> as much as I want to do the chicken races. I'm gonna... Oh, hey, Impulse, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Yeah, I'm done with my chicken races. So... Oh, right, I still have baseball quests. I'll go see. Ah, uh, how's stream? You joined to see the chicken races? I mean, I can do one more. But right now, I have to breed and get a new chicken. I found a few games you may actually want to play to completion. Oh, yeah? Or to discover. I'm always on the lookout for new games as well, against my best judgement. I have a massive backlog as well. Children of Morta, Chasm, Book of Demons. Children of Morta is good. Uh, I haven't played a lot of it. Uh, that was like a game I checked out off stream. Chasm never heard of, but okay, good Metroidvania. Book of Demons... I thought it was interesting, but the more I played it... I feel like it just didn't go in depth as I would have liked. Um, just my personal taste, though, I guess. Like, it felt... I, I don't want to say repetitive, but it just didn't feel varied enough. Early on, it, it was cool. Like, I was very intrigued, but then a few hours in... It, it didn't open up as much as I thought it would, so... But a cool title, like I like the art style of that one. What's going on? Yeah, 30, 45, okay, yeah. I played like three hours of Book of Demons. So that's roughly when I started feeling, oh, I kind of wish this would expand a little more. Some ah, oh, damn it. I got more people to fight. I'll have to look into Chasm. I like a good Metroidvania. I've been meaning to play through Hollow Knight again, just in the lead up to Silk Song. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Chasm is the basic go to the empty town staple to populate stores, go there, but to find unlocks and gear. Oh, okay. Another one I heard that uh, was good in that genre is the Lone Fungus. Alright, watch me suck at baseball. Oh yeah, this guy. No, 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 no. So wait, what does it say I have a side quest here? Oh, hello. Ah, who are you? I just started today, the lady. Used to work here, suddenly quit, and they had an ad out saying they were hiring. So here I am. Ah, uh, so the lady's gone. I mean, she did try to kill me. Um, are you a regular here? Ah? Uh, uh, yeah. You might say that. 
All right, then let me introduce myself. I'm Miku Mirai. Please feel free to call me Michan. Okay, Michan. Nice to see this place gets someone so pretty to work the counter. I'll bring some much needed shine to the establishment. Okay. I'm Tatsuo Shinara. You can call me Tachan. Okay, Tachan. Uh, wait. Your face does. What's wrong with my face? Oh, no. I think I just recognize you from somewhere. Ah, really? Oh, that's it. I think I've seen you in town with someone, Tachan. Do you know Takasugi-san? Takasugi-san as in the money lender? That Takasugi-san? Yes, that's him. Michan, why do you know Takasugi-san? Well, it's, uh, because I borrowed money from him. Oh, that's what it is. You owe him money, too. Ah, come to think of it, I think I heard your name somewhere, too. Really? What was it now? Was that you on the phone with Takasugi-san? Oh, right. Takasugi had her working at a bathhouse to repay her loan. She was crying because her jaw hurt. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Ah, so that's how you, who you are. You're Michan. Eh? Oh, did you hear about me from Takasugi Sundan? Uh, just a little, like you're uh, working another job. It must be pretty tough for you. Well, like, uh, uh, if I don't pay back this loan quick, the interest is just going to keep piling up. Uh, that's so true. We both have to dig down and work. Oh, ouch. My jaw hurts. Are you okay? Don't work yourself too hard. Yeah, it's nothing. Her jaw- oh, hang on. Her jaw aches from working at some sleety bathhouse. The poor girl, she looks so innocent too. Some world we live in. Okay, Tachan. Enjoy your visit. If you need anything, I'm right here. Well, it could be perfectly innocent. Like, maybe she tripped and fell and she hit her jaw on a bench or something. Or maybe she was eating lunch and just had a sandwich that was too big that she had to unhinge her jaw slightly. We could be completely innocuous. I have not done any of these, so... Let's just... Say, got a minute, buddy? Huh? The name's Takamine. Every now and then, I'll have a little challenge with the local batters. Call it a hobby of mine. So, want to square off? There's money in it for you if you hold up. I'm always down for money. You're a bitch, I take it. Yep, so here's how it works. You get one at bat. And all you need to do is hit a single pitch to win. Easy, right? You know, I'll pass. Baseball and betting don't mix, in my opinion. Hope you can find someone else. Oh, come on, don't say that, Tatsuo Shinada. Who are you and how do you know me? Oh, well, that would be because I'm a hired gun sent by Shirakawa-san. Shirakawa put you up to this, what for? I'll tell you if you beat me. Now whip out that wallet and let's get to it. How much are we asking? Ah, oh, 50,000 yen should do it. Yeah, that's way too much. 50 grand for one at a bat? Give me a break. Ha <laughs> relax, relax. I already got my cut from Shirakawa-san, so you can play for free. Oh. Sheesh. You scared me for a minute. Well, what's it gonna be? You taking the challenge? Winning is 50 grand for you, plus a little vignette about Shirakawa-san. Not a bad deal, I'll say. Alright then. Challenge accepted. Of course it is. How could you refuse? Let's get the show started. Wait, what is this? Maybe she didn't up in time and got slapped around. What? Maybe she didn't up in time. What do you mean, up in time? <laughs> up in time? Okay. Oh, pay up in time. Okay, I see. Maybe. But she was complaining that she didn't want to work in the bathhouse because her jaw hurt. I'm just saying... I'm just saying there could be 
several explanations for it, you know? There's no correlation. It's just coincidence. Alright. <laughs> Good shit. I usually fail, I got it. What the hell in the haystack did you hit that? I know, right? Not a lot of pros can fire out breaking balls with that kind of impunity. An amateur wouldn't stand a chance against you. Heh, <laughs> thanks for noticing. I should congratulate you then. Gee, I'm honored. Praise from a cheater and a sloppy one at that. Whoa, whoa. What are you accusing me of here? Save your blubbering, Buster. I know a doctored ball when I see one. You scuffed that thing with sandpaper or something so it would spin weird. Amazed no one's seen through that old trick. Fudge knuckle, alright, there's no hiding it. You win. Okay, you promise. Tell me about Shirakawa. Ask the guy yourself. Huh? How long have you been standing there? Long enough to see your game hasn't gone to shit. So you're testing me, huh? Does that mean we've cleared up a little misunderstanding? Uh, not by a long shot. All you did was get a hit off some two-bit artist. Con artist. Nothing's changed. Thought you might say that. Hey, has Kurosaki kept in touch with you? Yeah. Nope. That guy's been a lone wolf as long as I can remember. Yeah, sounds about right. But forget about him. You're the one on trial here. I'll be back in full form for our showdown, and when I strike your ass out, well... Let's just say, begging for forgiveness won't help you. You don't have to do this, Hirakawa. You'll only hurt your shoulder even worse. Oh yeah, it's the high school rivalry. I mean... <laughs> to be honest, I'm not invested in that rivalry. It just seems so low stakes. I just hit a ball and then the guy comes back and I hit a ball again. And now- whoops, sorry. And now I have to go back in and hit another ball. I think I'm good. I'm just gonna progress to the main story now. Wait, where is- oh, it's my apartment. That's what it is. I can't win at chicken races unless I breed a new one. Hold on, I forgot how to get home. <laughs> it's the other way around. Here. No, here. Alleyway. There we go. Here we go. This has got to be Daigo. Shinada just did what... I know some people that do this, it's... You say you're gonna meet up somewhere, and then they're like, Oh, I still got time, I can go do this other thing beforehand, and then they're, they're always late. It's just like, man... I was just... I said I was just around the corner. <laughs> こと15年前から存在してきたということか。なあ。その名古屋組を動かしてきたのが15年前。俺と同じチーム。名古屋ワイバーンズの監督をしていた藤田さんだ。15年前。この町は東西を二分して。東上階と大見連合がそれぞれ
and <laughs> just can't help but look at the background. Just what he has. He has all these newspapers. Like, what do you need them for? <laughs> まるで海外の秘密結社やマフィアのようにね。でもまあ、それも昨日で終わりで。いくら名古屋組が組織化されてても、構成員は所詮普通の人たちだ。こうして真相がバレちまえば、彼らはもう何もできない。お前を襲った
カムロコっていや甲子園の東東京予選の決勝で当たったあの都内一のワール高校あちょっと待てよそれじゃまさか夏の大会の決勝前日にカムロコを相手にたった一人で喧嘩したっていうのは俺だ覚えてるよあの時カムロコのヤンキーたちにうちの野球部の連中が決勝戦辞退しろって脅迫されててさでも決勝戦の前日になって急にカムロコのヤンキーたちが全員病院送りになったおかげで俺らは決勝戦にも無事出て甲子園に行けたんだで結局甲子園では1回戦で澤田がいた中京学院に1対2で負けたんだよなヒットお前のホームランのみ火災の待合室のテレビで観戦したよでもまさか君があの時俺らを救ってくれた人だったなんてでも一体どうしてそんなことお前ら野球部が甲子園に出ることだからサブロンズンとベースボールいやカムロニシコ全員にとっての夢だったからだ夢ああ夢ってのは叶える人間がいてこそ思い描けるまさにあの頃の俺らにとって甲子園出場っていうのは夢だったんだそれが敵対する高校の手によって壊されようとしていただが当時俺にはそれを守る腕力があっただから俺にとってその夢を守ることは自分の夢を守ることに等しいことだったんだわかる気はするけどさそれで退学して少年院ってさ君がそこまで犠牲になる必要はなかったんじゃないのバカな話だと思うかもしれないが人間ってのは I mean, I think he's doing a right for himself. I mean, Nande. 当時の俺には夢がなかったからなでも夢のなかった俺でも人の夢を応援することくらいはやってみたいと思ったんだ俺は親の家業を継ぐことが決まっていた俺にとっては高校を卒業することより俺らの夢を背負って甲子園を目指す奴らを応援することの方が重要だったんだ俺はあの時甲子園でホームランを打つお前の背中を見ることができたから今もこうして目を背けたくなるような現実に向き合って生きることができているのかもしれないタソお前には勝手に感謝してるんだ堂島君ひょっとして今の君の仕事って登場会六代目会長まあ今は素性隠して行方をくらませている最中だがなマジだからここから先は俺に任せてくれ。But he's gonna get involved. <笑>片木のお前がこれ以上深入りするのは危険すぎる。もうお前は十分人に夢を与えてくれた。今度は俺がお前の失った夢を取り戻す番だ。なんだよ。それ。すべてに型がついたら、球界に取り合って。お前の永久追放処分を取り消させる選手としての復帰が無理ならコーチ監督として復帰できるように掛け合うつもり、oh, that's nice of him. 今はとりあえずその金を使って身の回りを整理しておけ安心しろ今の俺は腕力以外の力も持ってるお前が失った15年俺が巻き戻す He wouldn't be able to play what he is like He'd be out of his prime I don't know <laughs> I don't know much about baseball, let alone sports. It's just. Would they get a play? Jesus! Would they get a player that's like in his 30s? Yakuza ni fudima sarete yume ushinate. 
ヤクザに助けられて夢を取り戻すだそんなんじゃ俺の夢は戻ってこねえよ誰かの権力を使って球界に復帰したって意味ねえんだよ分かってるだが現実を見るんだ達夫このままじゃお前は一生この町でその日暮らしをすることになるお前は人に弓を見せる側の人間だどんな経緯があったにせよお前には球界に戻る資格があるもっと現実に目を向けろ過去にこだわってもお前の失った時間は取り戻せない達夫あ、oh, we're gonna fight him. 勝手に語ってんじゃねえよ。I love how just all of them seem to wear clothing that, <laughs> that they wear stri stripper clothing basically. They can just take off. No matter how many layers of clothing they, they wear, they just take it off in one swoop. Like, what did Daigo take off his entire suit in one shot? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just. <laughs> they wear stripper clothing. At any given moment, they need to take off their entire suit in just one, one motion. Ah, dear. I love the series, I really do. I had no idea I had this pipe as a weapon. Oh, you know, it would have been nice if it would have healed me before this fight. Oh no, he's got a stun attack. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working. Put it away. I'm going punches instead. Whoa, camera, what was that? <laughs> Okay, I need a heal. Wait, what is this? Works like a little flamethrower? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an annoying fight. Use the the low value ones. Heat a little, off a bit, completely, quite a bit. Okay, I guess go quite a bit. Okay, 
Oh, come on. There we go. Get him. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, camera. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, no, as if the fight isn't hard enough, I gotta fight against the camera too. Dude. Dago, please. There we go. Yoruna. Doya. Korena. Munkunai de Shah. So, so everyone's gonna meet up now. Tatsu, move to get out. Ah, ah, let's do it. Then, now, we have to do the best we can. 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 So this is like the last chance to do anything. Um, I'm just gonna fill up my inventory with heal items. So then we're ready. Yeah, I mean, this is the... Oh, wait, no, there's one other side quest. Uh... I didn't get any of the the first category because it looks like you need to be drinking to even take advantage of it. Okay, so at the park there's another sub story. Um, I also need to pop into that one. Okay. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I did go to a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to read this text. <laughs> it's just the same every time. Hey. They sit down. He ate some of the food. And then it teaches you something. Oishi! You don't even see what he orders, it's just... Filler. Gourmet in training. Oh, there we go. So we got the same benefits from eating food. Not that I've done that.
This is the street, right? Yep. No, damn it. <laughs> Sound effect. His combat style is good. The one complaint about it is he doesn't have, like, a run-in and kick move that you can use to kind of cheese things, but the tackle is really legit. gave me an item. I kind of wish it didn't do that. Oh, that's not cool, man. You were just right outside the pharmacy. Victory Road. Yeah. Ugh. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that in the final chapter. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the drugstore. That's the M store. Okay. This is where I wanted to go. Okay, uh... I mean, I'm just gonna spend my money on that. Then I'm ready. Okay, and... Well, that was weird. I'll just go to the park and see what the sub-story is. Uh, I'll take the taxi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a way to avoid them. That's probably the closest one. Oh, it's the victory road guy. Hey, Shinada, remember me? Uh, it's Washino, the ex-wrestler. I got myself sober, now I've come to give you a taste of what I can really do. You look like a changed man. It's a big improvement. I still remember all the shit you were talking before. Too late to take it all back now. Okay. It's just more victory road stuff. And he fought better when he was drunk. Oh, right, I have the new skill where I can throw him if he grabs me. I should do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, there it is. That's pretty useful. <laughs> that looked weird. There we go. Got you. <laughs> uh, he's laughing for me. So I lost again, huh? You're a tough customer, Shinada. Hey, you didn't do so bad yourself. You'd been training all along, I doubt I could have beat you. Hurts knowing that I lost even though I gave it my all. I haven't felt this way in so long. I know it's frustrating, but I bet it feels good in a way too. Yeah, you might be right. Just part of the process. I think I'm gonna give this life another shot. I want to find a way into the Victory Road ring to feel the spotlight on me again. I think that's a great goal. Thanks, Shinada. You've given me a new outlook on life and a second chance. No need to thank me. I probably didn't have any right to say those things to you either. Go on ahead to the Victory Road finals. I'll claw my way up there eventually. Just you watch. When I get there, maybe we could even team up. You better wait for me. That attitude's gonna put him in fighting shape in no time. Alright, now we're done. Right? Yes, okay. Um. Yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll go back home. I guess I'll grab the taxi. Whoops, can't go that way. That's kind of cool. It, it seems to auto-select the place that has something to do. At least that's what I've noticed. It puts you right next to the side quest. I mean, the baseball thing, it's just... If you were doing different things, I might be interested, but it's just the same thing every time. It's just... I challenge you! You better... Better hit this ball or you're gonna regret it, and then it's, it's just that every time. Oh wait, I missed... I was going to the chicken race automatically. It's fine, it's just not as in-depth as the other stuff. Let me just do a save before I go anywhere. Tatsuo, mo jumbi o ino ka? We're ready. Ah, okay, that. So, ka. Jay, you go. Ah, just wait. Eat the soba, kara. What do you? I thought we said we're ready. Well, in that case, go first. Go first. Go first. Is he paranoid? Oh, the debt collector might be. Is he trying to like? I guess we'll see. I don't think he's I don't think he's paid the twenty mil. What was he doing?
ちょっとすいませんよ悪いね<笑>気持ちを兼ねなくて<笑>はいお釣りうんあ,あいやいいマジでやっぱりさ登場会の会長になると小銭とか持たないんだねお,おいえこれでも素性隠して行動してるんだ頼むぜややばい<笑>結構ヤクザったらも大変なんだな<笑>んな,なんなんだこれだから大声出すなってうんこれってあの沢田のことか<笑>俺はとんでもない勘違いをしていたのかもしれないあぼいああ先に東京行って何俺ちょっと行かなきゃならない場所があるからおおいあーごめんあおボールとお金返します。余ったお金は息子さんと娘さんのプレゼントにしてくださいってよ。I mean, they might argue sometimes, but they're bestest buddies now. Ore, Mada, Kekom, Mustinet. He was trolling him. That's pretty funny. サワダお前なら俺がここにいるってわかるんじゃないかと思ってたよ。よく知ってる。勇敢を見たよ。まさか、球界のエースであるお前が、万年 B クラスのワイバーンズ。I mean, I don't think s h i n a d a is that short. 驚いたよ。This guy's a giant. I'm not sure if you're 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 a giant. 
中京学院のエース名古屋が生んだ10年に1人の天才それがお前の高校時代の呼び名だっただが人生ってのは不思議なもんだなくじ引き一つで名古屋出身の俺が東京に東京出身のお前が名古屋のチームに入ることになっちまうんだからな結果お前は全く関係のなかった名古屋のためにその野球人生を奪い取られる羽目になったそして俺は誰もが認める球界のエースとなったでもお前はこうしてまた名古屋に帰ってきたこれも全て名古屋組を藤田さんから引き継ぐためだというのかああそうだどうしてだよどうしてそこまでして名古屋組なんかを守る必要がある今のお前にはもっといろいろ守らなきゃならないものがあるはずだろう高校の時の友達に言われたよ俺らは夢を見させる側の人間なんだって俺やお前はただ野球やってるだけじゃないんだこのグラウンドに立つ人間はいろんな人間の夢背負って野球やってんだよもう聞いてるだろう牛島さんや真鍋さん親組の構成員だった人たちはみんな出発したそうだもう名古屋組は終わりなんだ悪いことは言わないこれ以上名古屋組を使って誰かを苦しめるようなことはしないでほしいやはりお前は何も現実が見えてないようだな何、oh、boy. 名古屋組が終わったなんてことは分かっている俺は最後の仕事をするために名古屋にやってきたまでだ最後の仕事お前だよ。ああ、わかることを知りすぎたお前を始末。Jeez. それが俺に指示された。最後の仕事だ。そうだ。今朝警察に出頭した人間は全員釈放されたよ。警察は何事もなかったように処理する方針だ。なんだって。死ぬだ。この一件はお前が思っている以上に。大きな力によって操作されているんだ。警察すら動かしてしまうような。強大な力を持った人間に。誰なんだよ。お前にこんなことさせてるやつってのは。それは。あ、oh. あ。あいつら。俺の見張り役の連中。オミ連合の人間だ。オミどうしてオミがあれが答えさ。藤田さんも俺もずっとオミ連合のある組織によって動かされていたんだ。ある組織ってオミ連合の出身団体、神戸黒羽組。名古屋組はそれまでずっと名古屋を仕切っていたオミ連合の連中を追い出すために。黒羽組が中心となって作った組織なんだつまり近江連合内の島争いによってできた組織だったんだよ近江連合が近江連合を追い出すためだな、right, so、this is where it all comes together now, I guess. そして俺も藤田監督もその黒羽組に魂を売り夢を手に入れた人間の一人だ何だと品だ俺はなお前が思っているような天才でも立派な野球選手でもないあの甲子園だってそうさ俺は黒羽組の力を借りて<笑> the for a while. そんなまさか本当だ黒羽組は対戦する高校の監督の買収から選手への賄賂まがいの脅迫手段を選ばず勝つための手段を取ったまさか豊洲でカムロコの連中を使ってうちの野球部に妨害を入れたのもそう黒羽組の仕掛けだまああの時はお前の高校のやつに邪魔され計画はうまくいかなかったがなそれで俺らとの一回戦だけはガチの勝負になっちまったってことか
This is how much people are into sports in this universe. The crime syndicate would go rig a high school baseball game. Oh dear. そして俺はお前に勝った。結果1回戦で負けたお前はドラフト会でワイバーンズに拾われた。逆に俺は高校球界の司法と言われ、ドラフト1位でギガンツに入団したんだ。どうして黒羽組がそこまでして俺を甲
やはり知っていたのかギガンツのサインまあね相手のサインを研究するのはバッターの基本だからな Okay, we're gonna have to fight our way out of here. Sada, do you still want to ask her your name? Zutto, she took it under. Do you still want to go on a straight or out of the corner? So, you took it to Kikumadeva, Korosuaki, you are Ikanai. <laughs> so then, this damn home run is just important. They just live in a completely different universe to me. It's just... I don't understand it. Yeah, sports. <laughs> Going after the guy with the bat first. Thank you. Oh, wait, the bat broke. Ah, oh, that sucks. Wait, what the hell is that guy hold? That's a weird way to hold a taser. It's like two-handed taser. He's holding it like a sword. <laughs> yeah, baseball! Hang on, I see that, I see that, I see it. I still have the stupid fish that I was supposed to take to the bar. Oh well, that ship has sailed. Try combat with the bar. Let's go. Okay, I think the problem here is because it's the basic one, it probably doesn't do nearly as much as it should at this point. Actually, it's not too bad. It is weird that he's using this like a sword instead of a baseball bat, but then his normal fighting style is like he's holding a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> 
finish him is just on as impressive. ああ、いつなかなさい。藤田さんはストレートを投げろと指示したんだ。教えてくれ。藤田さんは迷っていた。迷っていた。あの試合の前夜。Conflicted. 金栄町のバーで藤田さんと飲んでいた時に聞いたんだ。沢田。俺はこの4年ずっと悩んでいた。お前ほどのピッチャーにこんなことをさせていていいのかって。何言ってるんですか、藤田さん。俺らはこうする
けがれのない本物の野球ってやつをうんそういうことだ Now did he steal the signs? さあ早くここから出よう黒羽組の追手が来ないとも限らないお前のホームランの秘密は後でゆっくり聞かせてもらう死ぬぞ Is he gonna admit that he stole the signs? What's he looking for? Oh, he's gonna set it up, so. Play one more time. Ground of a kegger. Nani tenda, oh my. Ketcha go scale. What a touch in a show. Oh, please don't make me play the mini game. I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But I didn't. Oh no, I'm gonna regret not training for this. Oh shit. Uh oh. Yaru no ka, honto ni. Ah. Shiritain daro. Home run no himitsu. Shobu s r e b a Unless this is scripted, please let this be scripted. Wakaru sa. お前が15年前よりヘボになってなけりゃなまさかお前本気で打てると思ってるのかもちろんだ来い Okay, it hasn't swapped to gameplay, so this is fine すごいじゃん。15年前、お前が打ったストレートはこんなもんじゃない。まだ刀らしだ。さあ、打ってみろ。俺のストレート。I'm so worried it's going to swap to gameplay. ずっとお前が打ちたがっていたストレートだ。どうしたあの時のホームランはマグレだったのかあ早く次投げろちこっちの嫉妬は打たないってか。お前何考えてやがる。次だ。いいだろう。次が七球目。十五年前と同じ。次の球で終わりだ。Please <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I'll press one button. Home run. Do you see? Do you see? Curve を投げるって分かったんだ。分かってたんじゃない。待ってたんだ。ありがとうよ。俺は15年間ずっとお前のカーブを待っていたんだきっとな15年ってお前20年前の甲子園俺はお前のストレートで三振したそれから4年間
俺はワイバーンズの二軍で毎日お前のストレートを打つことだけを考えて練習し続けたそして15年前のあの試合俺はお前のストレートを打ったでもカーブは打てなかったあの試合で藤田さんがもしストレートのサインを出さなかったらお前がカーブを投げ続けていたら正直俺は打てなかっただろう、うん、あの日俺はお前からホームランを打った自分の力で夢を叶えたと信じていたでもそれが監督やお前の情けで叶ったものならそんなもの嬉しくもなんともないシナだ真実を教えてくれてありがとう15年間待った甲斐があったよ俺もやっとこれで引退できるえありがとうな澤田Okay. Well, that explains that. He was just obsessing over the straight ball, and that's why he hit it. I was half expecting him to be cheeky and be like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> おかしなもんですなもっと早くこの決断ができていればこんなことにはならなかったのにこくはつぶんです明日の新聞の一面にこの式が掲載される予定になってます。もう終わりにしましょう。それが私たちにとって一番だ。シェット。オーケー。ああ、私は、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんフナーリーレジェンド・ Legend returns. Oh, we're going back to Kamarocha. Cool. <laughs> A familiar town. I won't get lost in this town. We're home. Oh, shit. Baba John. Someone's tailing me. Well, it sure has been a long time since I was here. I should get the lay of the land again. New Serena would be a good place to start. Alright, uh. I'm gonna go save. We'll get the lay of the land in a minute. We just went through a lot. Oh, there's already a sub story, wow. Donkey up there. 
Really? Must this town be this crowded? Excuse me. Excuse me! I hope Yakuza 6 fixes these save screens once and for all. Okay. I'm going to take a short intermission before I continue this. I will continue. I just need to stretch my legs for a couple of minutes, get a beverage. And yeah, we'll continue this. Plus, it gives me a chance to split the video up for YouTube later. Speaking of, if you're watching this part later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoy it and... You know the drill. If you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons like the like button, or if you want to watch me play other things, just, uh, yeah, click one of the videos that pop up. But we'll see you next time, YouTube.